Hi, welcome to Mad Manners. In this session, we are going to see about stomach histology. First, let us get an overview about the GI wall. In this sketch, I have explained the four layers of the GI wall. So, here is a lumen of the GI tract. The innermost layer, we call it as mucosa. And the outermost is serosa or we call it as adventitia. Below the mucosa, we have submucosa. And then comes muscularis externa where we have circular or longitudinal muscles that helps with motility of a GI tract. Okay. What are the three layers of mucosa? Number one is the epithelial cell layer where we have cells like columnar cells or squamous cells, etc. Then comes the lamina propria which is beneath the epithelium and beneath the lamina propria we have a thin muscle layer we call it as muscularis mucosa which marks the boundary of the mucosa and then comes your submucosa okay now let us go over the histology slide so this is the lumen of a stomach here you have the epithelial cells note the type of epithelial cells here this is tall columnar cells tall columnar cell that main function is absorption or secretion in the esophagus or anal canal you can see stratified squamous epithelium stratified which means many layers of squamous cells that helps with protection in the stomach or intestine you have the columnar cell because their main function is absorption or secretions the most distinguishing feature of a stomach wall is the gastric pits so this is the invagination of the epithelium into the lamina propria so this is the lamina propria that will be the next layer to the epithelium. You have an invagination here. This is gastric pit. This gastric pit continues as gastric gland. I'm going deep inside the gastric pits. You can see this gastric glands. Okay. So these are all the gastric glands. I'm going to take two important cell type that is present in the gastric glands. One is the cheap cells, the other is the parietal cells. So this is your parietal cells. So this is your cheap cells. Let me go over the function in short. So as I mentioned, you have tall corner epithelium in the epithelial layer of mucosa. The invaginations in mucosa is called gastric pits. The gastric and pyloric glands are present in the gastric pits. The glands depends upon the location of the stomach. Let me explain that. And the gastric glands, if you see, it is mostly in the fundus and the body of the stomach. You have two important cell type. That is one is cheap cells that secretes pepsinogen. And the parietal cells that secretes hydrochloric acids and intrinsic factor. What is the function of the pepsinogen? This pepsinogen helps with protein digestion. The hydrochloric acid that is secreted by the parietal cells acts on the pepsinogen and makes it active pepsin. So this pepsin helps with protein digestion. What is the function of the intrinsic factor? B12 absorption. Okay. The pyloric glands which is mainly present in the pylorus of a stomach. They have abundant mucus secreting cells. Note that you have mucus secreting cells all over the GI tract, but the mucus secreting cells is very important in the pyloric glands because to protect the stomach wall from acids. And number two is the G cells. The G cell secretes gastrin. This gastrin is very important hormone that is going to Stimulate the parietal cells to secrete acids. So this gastrin, if it gets increased in the blood, the acid secretion is going to increase from parietal cells. So what is the take home point? The key distinguishing feature is the gastric pits. So this is the gastric pits. Deep inside the gastric pits, you can see the gastric glands. In this gastric glands, you have cheap cells and the parietal cells which carries out the function of the stomach. Thank you. See you with more interesting videos.